Hello and welcome back to another video. In the previous video, I was teaching you how to make a catch game on Scratch, but in this one, we're going to be making the chase game. This is how it works. You use the arrow keys to move the monkey about and try to get the banana. If you touch the banana, your score increases. Let's make it. First, you need to get a new sprite. This is going to be the sprite that's going to be chasing. I'm going to choose a monkey. Next, you have to get the sprite that's going to be chased. And I'm going to choose a banana because monkeys eat bananas. I'm going to make them a bit smaller because they're too big and they won't have that much space to move around the screen. To make it bigger, you select it, you group it, and then you just drag it diagonally. No, to make it smaller, they drag it diagonally downwards. If you don't group it, then. So I'm ungrouping it. If I don't group it, like I might just select one part. And then only that part will become bigger. But then if I group it, then this all of the parts are going to become bigger. And I'll do the same with the banana. Now we'll go back to the monkey. First go to events and get a green flag block. To start off the program. Next, get a go to X and a go to Y block. Put zero in both of the spaces because zero zero is the middle of the screen. So now the monkey will go to the middle. Now get a forever block from control. Anything that goes inside the forever block will run forever. And inside the forever block, put an if. Go to sensing and get a key space trust block. Change the space to right arrow and go to motion and get a move, X, move change x by 10. Change x by 10 means that it's going to go 10 more spaces on the x axis which is from left to right y is from top to bottom so now if we press the green flag the monkey can't go right now we'll need to do this with the left arrow to do this duplicate the right arrow script and then change the white the right arrow to left arrow after you've done that you should change x by minus 10 because in the opposite direction so now i can go back and forth so now we'll need to duplicate these two and do if up arrow is pressed and if down arrow is pressed. And instead of changing X, it's going to change Y. So ch for up arrow, change Y by 10 and down arrow, change Y by minus 10. So for the up arrow, it means it's going 
10 spaces on the y axis and on the down arrow is going minus 10 spaces on the y axis and now we can go up down right left now we we'll need to code the banana go to events and get a one green flag click block and go to control and get a forever block and then go to motion and get a glide one second to random position Glide one seconds to random position means that the banana will glide to one random position on the screen in one second, then another random position since it's going forever and it's in a forever loop. So now the banana is going is moving all around the screen. So now make a variable called score a variable is a function and you can change numbers and the inputs in it so if you were to make an arrow game then you wanted to record how much bullseyes you got then you can name the variable bullseyes and every time you got a bullseye it will go up by one so a variable is a variable is like to is to control is to record things is to record what's happening in the code in the game name this variable score and at the top of the script put a set score to zero this means that when you click the green flag the score will be set to zero and it wouldn't carry on the score from the previous game you've played so if you got 14 as your previous score and you press the green flag to play again then your score won't be 14 it will be zero because it would have started again and then go to the monkey sprite and press and go to control and press the if and put it underneath the key down arrow pressed so then if go to control to get the touch and mouse pointer and change it to touch and bananas if touch and bananas change score by one this means that when the monkey touches the banana that means it gets the point like its score increases but when we touch the banana it goes up by more than one to prevent this from happening go to events and then get to wait one seconds block and put it under the change score by one now the score goes up by one only this happens because if there's no wait one seconds since the banana goes really slow when the monkey touches it it will be still on the monkey while it will still be on the monkey while moving so that's why you get more points but then if you wait one second one second then the monkey will wait one second before it can get another point but by the time one second has passed then the banana would have already been out of the monkey's way so that's why this will work. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like and subscribe. Bye.